What out, Japs? How the devil? I'm back from Hawaii, so I'm making a quick video to break my, what, nearly two-week duck? Uh, oh, and it's a good one. It's a great one. And I'm saying that because it gives us the opportunity to fact-check the fact-checkers. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the BBC and their laughably named <laughs> reality check section. Reality check. Real you only think this is a reality check if you've got an invisible friend a magic talking frog that follows you around, giving you insane predictions about world events. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's let's see what BBC Reality Check has to say. Shall we? Ukraine war. Fact checking Russia's biological weapons claims. Reality check from the world's worst state-funded communist propaganda machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I trust them to give me a reality check. L like I trust Harold Shipman to check me tonsils. <laughs> It says, uh, Russia claims that biological weapons are being developed in laboratories in Ukraine with support from the United States. It says evidence is now being destroyed to conceal the weapons program, but the US says it is total nonsense. Yep, right up. And uh, Kamala Harris, she strikes me a ba as a bastion of integrity. <laughs> okay. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's as honest as the day's long, huh? So... Good old BBC, we could we could trust them. We've looked into some of the claims and assess whether there's any evidence to support them. No evidence. Well, that took them <laughs> that took them ten seconds. Uh, no evidence. U.S. funds biological weapons research in Ukraine. Uh, right. So definitely not. Straight away, BBC is like happy to say, no, nah, no, nah, it's all bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Don't look here. And um, one of Bootneck's favourites had something else to say on the matter. Here is the claim made seven hours ago, and it's what, the 13th of March. Seven hours ago by Tulsi Gabbard. Here are the undeniable facts. There are 25 to 30 US funded bio labs in Ukraine. According to the US government, these bio labs are conducting research on dangerous pathogens. Ukraine is in an active war zone with widespread bombing, artillery and shelling, and these facilities even in the best of circumstances, could easily be compromised and release these deadly pathogens. Now, like COVID, these pathogens know no borders. If they are inadvertently or purposely breached or compromised, they will quickly spread all throughout Europe, the United States, and the rest of the world, causing untold suffering and death. So in order to protect the American people, the people of Europe, the people around the world, these labs need to be shut down immediately and the pathogens that they hold need to be destroyed. Reasonable, sensible, impassioned plea from a reasonable and sensible woman, which is why she had about as much chance of being nominated VP by the chittering bedwetting simpleton in the White House as I have of being nominated Minister for Calm, Measured, Clean Language. So we've got a simple choice to make, ladies and gents, and I'm happy to uh, go on the record right now. Seven hours after, Tulsi made this claim. She says there are 25 plus US funded bio labs in the Ukraine. And these cluth, clueless, commie fuck knuckles say no evidence, no evidence US funds biological weapons research. Because what they're doing here is playing an unsubtle word game. They're saying there's no evidence they fund biological weapons research in the Ukraine. But they didn't say, yes, there's 25 plus US funded labs playing with fucking dodgy chemicals in Ukraine. And if that's good enough for you, hand wringing, cringing, partisan, lefty wank shaft, well, you're welcome to it. But I like to think that anybody who is even remotely impartial is once again filled with disgust at the word games lies, and to use their own favourite term, misinformation, from Silicon Valley, the mainstream media, and our own fucking governments. Let's wait and see what the truth is, shall we? But I know I believe, and it isn't the bastard BBC. Thanks for watching. See you all very soon. Cheers.